Alright, what must I do to obtain celestial glory? So in Mormonism, you have uh, celestial glory, you have terrestrial glory, and then you have this made-up word, celestial glory. So according to the book of doctrines and spells, our covenants, those who will inhabit the celestial kingdom include those who receive not the gospel of Christ nor the testimony of Jesus. It will also include liars, sorcerers, adulterers, whoremongers, and whosoever loves and makes a lie, as well as murderers. Uh, so I, it sounds like all Mormons are going to the celestial kingdom, but I think if you ask them, they'd say they're all going to the celestial kingdom because they're all going to be gods. They're all going to be like Jesus is on this earth, but they're going to be Jesus of another earth. And those who go to the celestial kingdom, as you, we read here, are those who reject Mormonism and Christianity. Okay, uh, it, I was told back, you know, 15, 20 years ago that uh, Mormons go to the celestial heaven and Christians go to the terrestrial heaven and uh, all non-believers go to this third heaven, the lowest part of heaven, and they are cursed with black skin. All right, so I, I'm guessing that's they are changed their view on that, so they're just making it up as they go. But uh, you can ask any Mormon uh, if you doubt anything that I'm saying here. So let's, oh, here's, I forgot, here's uh, an a little bit of an example. When blacks came to earth, God cursed them. God cursed them with dark skin. All right. So that, I mean, this is common knowledge, right? This is nothing new. Uh, it's funny because uh, last year we saw this uh, spirit of, you know, if anything could be twisted to be racist, it was declared racist and uh, abhorred and condemned and all that and and here we got Mormonism which obviously uh, is as racist of a religion as it gets I, I can't think of a more racist religion can you but we could go uh, let's see uh, oh then we could look at Darwin's book what was that called again I forget Right there it is, the origin on the origin of species and the preservation of white people, or something like that. Let's see what it says here. Oh, oh, they left that part out here. Hold on a second. Let's see. Oh, oh, they're leaving out the. Well, I'll be doggone. Right there it is. On the origin of species by means of natural selection or the preservation of white people in the struggle for life. Now, come on. What do you think that means? Favored races? You think that means black people? No. It means white people. Come on. I mean, really, if people are against racism, if they really were against racism, they would be they would be against evolution, all right. But this is all a dog and pony show. So let's compare that with what the Bible says, all right. So uh, first of all, let's just let's just focus on this right here. Okay. So according to Mormonism, if you're a true Mormon, you go to the good place. If you're a, just a lowly Christian, you go to the medium place, and if you're nothing, then you go to the lowest place. All right, now that's a complete contradiction to what the Bible says because the Bible clearly talks about the second death, right? And all those who are not saved, they get the second death, right? And that's not the celestial glory, that's not the terrestrial glory, that's not the boogie woogie glory, that's the second death, but the fearful and unbelieving, abominable and murderers, whoremongers, sorcerers, 
and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Right? So, did I... I went... I shouldn't have... Uh, what was that that they said? I forgot already. They said... Oh, oh, hold on a second. Let me find it. What is telestial glory? Oops, that's not it. What kind of people go to telestial kingdom? Liars, sorcerers, adulterers, whoremongers, murderers. Let's see, whoremongers, murderers, uh, sorcerers. Uh, they have their part in the second death. All right, so you can imagine what the second death is, right? The first death is when we die in this fleshly body. The second death is when we're erased completely. And uh, that's on Judgment Day, right? It's not, a, it's not like a third wave of planets where all these guys go to. It's some nonsense, ridiculousness, right? But let's uh, also one more thing here. Since we're talking about Mormonism, let's put a nail in this coffin, shall we? Mormons believe that human beings get salvation both through the grace of God and their own actions. Part of the work of salvation has been done by the atonement of Jesus Christ. He did some work. Good job, Jesus. And that all human beings are guaranteed resurrection. All human beings are guaranteed. Well, you don't have to believe nothing. It's to hell with everything, right? You're going to be resurrected. You got eternal life. Doesn't matter. To hell with everything, you know. So, Jesus died in vain. It doesn't even matter. We're all going to live forever anyway. But to attain the full quality of eternal life, human beings also have work to do. Oh, oh, you got to earn your salvation if you're a Mormon. Now, let me ask you this: Is there any chance at all that Mormons will have everlasting life? If this is what they believe, and this is what they believe, human beings also have to have also have work to do. That's kind of interesting because we read here in Matthew seven, a certain group of people. Uh, well, first of all, Jesus says, "Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. And the will of my Father is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And let's face it, let's be, if we're being honest, Mormons do do a lot of wonderful work for their communities and so forth. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in equity. All right? The reason Jesus says ye that work in equity is because... These people think they are earning their salvation, thinking that they have some work to do to earn their salvation and to glory in themselves and not in God. So let's see if I can find something that will help support that. Ephesians 2, 8. Uh, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Completely contrary to what Mormonism teaches. Okay, 